Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Mathis, I'm a developer advocate at Timescale, and I've got a question for you. Are you trying to use histograms? Do you want to know what they are and how to use them? Are you struggling with Grafana and getting it to do what you want it to do? Then you're in the right place. So this is the first video in a multi-part series about Grafana visualizations. We'll walk through the basics of histograms, what they are, and how to use them. If you're new to our channel, we are Timescale, the makers of TimescaleDB, the world's best relational database for time series data, built on top of Postgres. So if you already know Postgres, you know Timescale. Using Timescale, you can adjust data about everything that matters to your business, analyze it using SQL, a language you already know and love, and make better business decisions. In Grafana, we can use three types of data to plot a histogram. Raw data, aggregated data, and pre-bucketed data. In this video, we'll go over the first two, raw data and aggregated data. If you want to follow along, there will be a link in the description to our documentation with some extra examples and helpful tips. Let's get started. So we have a brand new dashboard here. Let's first add a new panel. And then right off the bat, let's change our panel type from time series to histogram. And it's right here, it's still in beta, as you can see. Then we want to change our data source from Postgres to, you know, from the default to our stocks. That might be your default, uh, depends. And then we want to edit our query here, which is this one. So take some time to copy it over. We select the time and price from our stocks real time table, where the symbol is equal to uh, our variable symbol, which we don't have yet, but we'll get to that later. And the time is greater than or equal to the time from, and the time is also lesser than uh, the time. So this this allows us to do this here where we say, okay, well, we want um, data, we want all the data from the last six months, or you can set uh, absolute time ranges as well. Um, and we order that by time, obviously. Uh, let's apply that and then create our uh, variable symbol. So let's do that and then go to settings and then variables and then add a variable here, call the symbol, and that will be a text box. And that's all we need to do. So press update. Then we can go back to our dashboard and then we can say, for example, we want AMD and then it will show us the distribution of AMD uh, prices over the last six months. As you can see, it takes quite a while to load. That is because uh, we're doing a raw query. So this returns us all the data for AMD in the last six months. As you can see, if we scroll down here on the table view, that is quite a lot of data. Thankfully, there's a really easy solution. And that's to use TimescaleDB's uh, time bucket function, where it aggregates certain metrics uh, on a time interval. Uh, and we can do this pretty easily by just uh, changing our query a little bit. So instead of select time, we're gonna do time bucket and a variable called bucket interval. So let's do that, bucket interval. And then our time, and we're gonna do this as time. And then uh, price, obviously this is a single metric, but we can't use that in an aggregate. So we need to aggregate this. So let's say average price. Then we, instead of order by, we wanna group by, and we wanna group by the same time bucket function. So let's say time bucket, and then again, our bucket interval and time. If you wanna learn more about this, there's uh, plenty of documentation on the timescale docs. There will be a link in the description to this documentation. Go to our settings, create a variable here, click on new and call this bucket interval. And the type is an interval here. If we reload our panel here, we should see the query uh, execute. And there we go. So we have um, roughly the same histogram, except it takes not as long and it's way louder on our front end. As you can see, this query is kind of rough. Uh, in many ways, it's not very accurate. Uh, we can change that by playing around with the bucket size. On the right here in the panel options, you can see uh, under histogram, you have bucket size. Right now it's set to auto, which I think it, it used for, but we can increase the resolution of this pretty easily by just changing this to, for example, one. And that gives us a much nicer view of what's actually going on. That's pretty neat. Uh, but what if we wanted to visualize multiple distributions in a single panel? You could add multiple queries here and then manually change them, but that's pretty cumbersome. But instead, what we're going to use is Grafana's multi-value variables um, to select multiple symbols at once. So let's change our symbol type from text box to query. And we're going to query the stocks database. And we're going to query for all the different companies in our database. Thankfully, we have a special table for this called company, which has all the companies in them. So we're going to do select distinct so we only get it, uh, get each uh, stock once, uh, symbol 
from uh, company, our company table, um, order by symbol ascending. This is to get them alphabetically. Um, and then here we go, you see all the values. But one important option here is to click uh, multi-value so we can select multiple at once. And this will allow us to have multiple distributions in the same panel. So press update and then we can go back to our panel here. And then to be able to use this, uh, we need to change um, a couple lines here. So instead of just selecting the time and price, we also need to select the symbol. So let's do that here. We don't need to aggregate over this because the symbol will be used as a column instead. And then instead of where symbol equals symbol, we need to change this to where symbol in and then braces symbol like this. And then at the end, instead of just grouping by the time bucket, we also need to group by the symbol like that. And then actually right here, we can do as price just to make it a little more clean. And then we should run this. And then here we see the price distribution of Apple. Now, what if we want to use another stock here? Let's go into uh, AMD and let's say uh, Facebook, for example. And there we go. So we have all three distributions, but we have no idea which one is which. So we're going to change the color of these to make it a little more clear. Apple is purple, AMD is red, and Facebook is blue. So there you have it. I think this shows what you can do with histograms inside Grafana three distributions in a single panel. If you like this video, please feel free to hit the like and subscribe button to stay updated for the future videos about Grafana and other time scale videos. And we'll see you in another video.